Hello, everybody. I'm Matt. And I'm Maggie. And we are... Hopefully awesome. That's right. A positive place on the internet where we nerd out about all the geeky things we love. And this week's geeky thing is, of course, Smallville. Oh, what? I thought she was going to uh, do Save Me. Uh, yeah, uh, I was. <laughs> <laughs> uh, this is episode 15 of our Going Back to Smallville podcast, where we each week break down each episode of Smallville. Uh, we are... <laughs> you okay having some issues with your soda over there, Maggie? All right. Hey, don't worry. <laughs> At least it wasn't a jug of milk, am I right? You know what I'm saying? Um, but yeah. <laughs> So anyway, uh, yeah, this is our 15th episode of this, uh, and it's it's just gotten better every week. We're here. This is going to be great. We're this still is here. Good. Guys, let me tell you, all right, we've already recorded for two and a half hours before starting this. So if you think we've been off the rails before, I feel like this is going to be, I hey, I could be wrong, you know, but we do have some... Some special guests <laughs> up our sleeve. All right. <laughs> Enough of this. Enough of this. Let's, you know what? Let's get into it because, Maggie, you know what? We're going back to Smallville. All right. <laughs> oh my God. Calm down. I was like, I paused and it's like, All right. it's, for them, it's just going to be immediate, you know? <laughs> All right, ladies and gentlemen, this is episode 15. Nicodemus. Nicodemus was a little old man. Little old man was he. Five little stones in a sycamore tree or something. I don't know. There's, there's a few things going on. Uh, original air date was <laughs> March 19th, 2002. Happy Pi Day, everybody. Uh, <laughs> written by. <laughs> Do I need to read the synopsis? <laughs> I'm trying. I'm so tired. Written, written Br- by Michael I Green and Greg Walker. And Greg Walker. The <laughs> G&G Ilman W connection. Think about it. Michael Green, Greg Walker. Walker, Ilm, Texas Ranger. MG, GW. What's a W upside down? And M. MG, GM. Think about it. Director James Marshall Mathers. I'm just kidding. It's just James Marshall. Uh, <laughs> so, what? You're trying too hard. I am. I'm really pushing it. All right. So, that being said, Maggie, any any initial thoughts before we dive into this? This episode? was an interesting episode, to say the least. Oh boy, let me tell you. Uh, wow. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Alright, let's get into it. So, (laughs) Maggie, listen, I'm going to tell you the story of James Bills, okay? Yeah. But not B-I-L-L-S, Bills, B-E-A-L-S, alright? He's just driving, right? And he's acting crazy, alright? He's just, he's swerving, speeding up slowing down flashing his lights all this stuff uh and then his co-pilot on this crazy magic ride that in his truck a flower <laughs> okay uh and he's on his phone he's on his cell phone back in 2002 okay uh, Heck yeah. this, this cell phone easily cost him 40 dollars a minute easy all right maybe he had a calling card maybe he dialed down the center c-a-l-l-a-t-t who knows right uh, but he's trying his damnedest to get a hold of one Sir Lionel Luther. All right. <laughs> <laughs> the line. I forgot that we do that now. <laughs> so anyway. So anyway. That scared me. That scared me. <laughs> scared me. Good. Good. Anyway, so, so he's trying to call Lionel. Yeah. Hey, Lionel, I got this freaking flower here. He's like, Lionel, no, no, listen. No, no, Lionel's no, not even on the a, phone. He's a secretary. He's, he's, he's like, you listen here, receptionist. Uh, get uh, him on that you damn You got better get up and wait on this phone for 25 years. I need to get uh, I need to talk to him right now. And then she's like, I'm sorry, please hold. He's like, God damn it. 
he cranks his phone, okay? He cranks his phone. He's like, fine, I'll do it myself. And he puts on the Infinity Gauntlet and he's just driving behind John. And Jonathan Kent, Lord love his heart, okay? <laughs> of course. Uh, Jonathan Kent, just, you know, just a good old boy dun, 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 doing no harm, you know? He's just riding down. And that song's playing. It's literally the theme song to the Dukes of Hazzard. Dukes of Hazzard's playing. Uh, and he's like, he's like, what, what? What? What's your hurry? What's your hurry, partner? Hey, well, hold it there, buddy. This place is called Smallville, not also, Fastville. Also, what the hell, oh, Jonathan really? Kent? <laughs> like, he's playing chicken with this man. He's, he's not. Like, yes, he is. He pulled over in the middle not to let him pass. He's playing chicken. No, 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 It's only funny he does. <laughs> <laughs> when you finish this episode, come back to this moment, because you'll get a big laugh. Maybe. I don't know. Maybe not. Um, so, you know, the guy, he's just like, get the hell out of my way. And John's, and John's like, like, no, like, I'm not. I'm getting in the one, middle. This is a one-way road, buddy, and I'm going one way. And that way is to heaven, and you're going to find out soon, my friend. You better get right with the Lord. <laughs> Also, they they weren't too smart about their road that they no. were using because it went from a two lane to like some random ass single lane, like, single lane yeah, road. It was just like it's so lane. weird. And so so then finally they turn uh, and the guy's just still falling behind Jonathan. He's like, ah, oh, this Joker wants to race, huh? <laughs> 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 and so so James Bill's like, F you, Jonathan Kent. I don't know your name, but I'm going around it. He goes around and immediately wrecks. Just <laughs> immediately goes flying through the sky, just flips over. Jonathan, of course, of course pulls a Dukes of Hazard. 360 spins. Hops out while Hops the truck out. is still moving. While the truck's still truck moving. Truck is still moving. He goes Hops against out. the dude out of the truck. Fireman carries him. And and time and guess what i sat there i said it's gonna blow up it's gonna blow up because every wrecked car in smallville <laughs> blows up hey guess what it did it, it blew, blew up, up. <laughs> <laughs> and john's like holy hell <laughs> what is are up? you okay ah, ah, screaming horses <laughs> He just starts. He's out of flashbacks. No. Okay? Oh, okay. He's just. He's like, oh my god! I can hear him. I hear him screaming. The fires and the flames. They're screaming out. They're screaming out. James Bills. Help me, James Bills. Help me, James Bills. Oh, I thought he'd be yelling. I'll miss you so much. The horses. He's terrified, Maggie. And then, so, you know, John is just laying on the ground. He's like, buddy, are you okay, buddy? And then it's this flower, this flower leans up, stares him right in the face, sneezes on him. And uh, John is like, what the hell? Do, 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 do. Somebody say. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <sighs> All right, everybody. We've made it through the opening credits. <laughs> uh, move along. <laughs> so, move it all along, out here screaming horses. <laughs> so, uh, we're at Likes' house, right? And here comes old. His name is Dr. Hamilton. His name is Dr. Dr. Hamilton. There's a million things he hasn't done. Just you wait. Just you wait. Was that is a Music Man reference. So, Dr. Hamilton is there. He's <laughs> talking to Lex. He's like, Lex, Lex, Lex. You got a goddamn flower thief in your midst, my my man. And He's you, not mine. You need to solve it. And yeah, Lex is like, what? It's not my problem. It's what, my dad's. What are you talking about, man? It's my dad's. What, what do you mean? <laughs> what do you mean? A flower thief, room. man. What are you <laughs> talking about? <laughs> you can't own a flower, man. <'t <laughs> Hamilton's like, no, what? No, the, I have a flower. And water. 
why are you studying flowers? You should be studying the effects on people of the meteorite. It's called science, Lex. Duh! Ever heard of it, stupid? Well, that's not what I paid you to do. Well, you pay me for lots of things. And some of that we can't talk about right now, but maybe we'll talk about it later. <laughs> no, not yet. Not yet. <laughs> That'd be great. <laughs> when this joke finally pays off, boy, you audience, oh, you just man. wait. This is gonna. This, this joke is, so, is so worth it. It's gonna be so good. <laughs> so then uh, we go to the Ken's house, right? Clark <laughs> walks in and he's like, "Hey, mom, I'm dad, bad. bah, pa, you got you got any of that milk? milk. <laughs> My milk get a jar." And he's like, "Oh, shit! <laughs> what are y'all doing?" I didn't- and John that. and Martha are like, <laughs> that is the worst sound I've ever heard. That's so Clark's nasty. like, holy hell, what are you doing? What are you doing? I didn't need to see that. Martha's like, oh, sorry, Clark, we didn't hear you come in. Not yet, Maggie, not yet. Not th- you'll know when. Okay. Now is not the time. Okay. It is not I'm, the time. I'm excited. <laughs> You're excited. You know who else is excited? Jonathan Kidd. Well, let me tell you, he's real excited, all right? He's, this man, he he's would have ready. thought he had left Smallville and went to Everwood, all right? <laughs> Cause he is he is having the ball of his life, all right. <laughs> he is hard. <laughs> so, I'm confused. So Martha, Martha's like Clark. Jesus said, "Why don't you learn how to knock?" Uh, like, are you trying to act like that's really what they said? <laughs> so, so uh clark's like ah, i didn't need to see that and uh jonathan is like well boy uh want to watch the old football, football game want to watch some of these guys yeah, play grab ass cold ones <sighs> it pops it off of the antique counter and martha's like jesus jonathan can opener and he's but like dad, tell me what to do devil woman but dad the farm dad don't you have chores to do paul yeah, work <laughs> he's like shut the hell up you little bitch <laughs> get out of here clark listen i saved a man's life all right i held a life in my hands and i saved it clark and you don't know what that feels like clark all right so you shut the hell up and you give me another cold one, all right? You give me another cold one, Clark. Clark's like, what are you talking about? And then, uh, hello. <laughs> I don't know who said hello. <laughs> Lex? <laughs> and it's Lex. Like, hello. hello. <laughs> hello. May, may I come in? <laughs> it got so quiet when I said hello. Well, it's like a different change of pace. <laughs> You went from going crazy Jonathan Kitt to hello. And he's like, hey, I just want to check and you make sure you're, you're okay, okay, Mr. Kent. And John's like, you listen Get here. Get out of my house. You little C word. You just make right. sure I don't sue your ass. Get the out of my house. I think Smallville would be better off if the Luthers never even lived. I think it'd be better if you weren't born. If you were dying of thirst, I wouldn't take a piss in your mouth, you piece of shit. You get the hell out of here. I don't Baldy? <laughs> Baldy? <laughs> From Space Jam. Uh, I'm sorry, Mr. Kent. Uh, <laughs> sorry. <laughs> Is he the so, Sorry, uh, little buddy. <laughs> the bird. <laughs> I'm still doing Space Jump. <laughs> the, the blue one. <laughs> yes. <laughs> oh my God. I'll try to keep things straight. I'm, I'm sorry, oh Mr. Kit. I'll, I'll leave. Mar- <laughs> Martha's like, Jonathan, what the hell's wrong with you? He's like, I'm going to go take a nap. <laughs> That's what he did. And he leaves. And he takes a nap. So then Clark goes to school. He's like, man, this is a, 
this is weird shit that's going on in my and house. Pete, I better go to school. I like what Pete says. Well, Clark is talking to Pete. He's like, Pete, 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 Pete. My dad, you should have seen him. Boy, howdy. <laughs> is he just a spitting fire? He was like an old trade coming down from the coal chute. Let me tell you. <laughs> I mean, it's like, what the hell are you talking about, Clark? He's like, I don't know. He was horny or something. Yeah. <laughs> My I dad. like how Pete says to him, he says, uh, I can't believe you caught your parents macking on the counter. <laughs> He's like, yeah, and you should have heard what he said to Lex. He's like, I, I would tell you what I'd uh, say to Lex. I, I, I'd give him my two Clark's sits. like, what are you talking about, Pete? And he's like, I f- hate Lex Luthor. He's like, what? Why? Because his dad... Stole my dad's farm or something. And he's like, that was 12 years ago, Pete. You know? And, and that was his dad. That wasn't even Lex. He's like, ah! Shut the hell up, Clark. He's still Luther. And then old Chloe Sullivan comes walking over. Uh, Taking pictures? <laughs> no, that's her, <laughs> that's her feet. That's the things on the... Her spurs. Her spurs? <laughs> wow. Like, Howdy, partner. Let me ask you something. <laughs> what is your deepest desire? Whoa. Yeah, she's taking a poll. <laughs> if you know what I'm saying. No, 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 no. No, no, no. Not yet. Not yet. As, uh, she's, she's like, I'm taking a poll. <laughs> I'm taking a poll. Uh, if you could do anything. What what was your deepest desire? If you could if you could do it, what what would it be? And Pete says, Oh, we'll make out the girl right there. Sexual harassment right there. And he runs over and he's like, Yo, 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 Stacy, talk to me, talk to me, talk to me, baby. <laughs> and then they're like, Wow, oh, that's weird. And Clark's like, Hey, do you know Pete hates Lex Luthor? And Chloe's like, Duh, stupid. <laughs> in my ear AC <laughs> duh stupid if what if all happened to his dad yeah yeah don't blame him don't hey don't yeah it's <laughs> it's a lot of walks over and then old Lana Lang walks over ch- 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 she <laughs> tap she's on this side nah, this birds. <laughs> she's like how did <laughs> I've hey. lost it. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm hey, Chloe. It. Hey, Clark. What's going on? Lana, if you could do anything, your deepest desire, what would you What would you do, Lana? What the hell would you do? I always wanted to climb on top of the windmill and see the Metropolis skyline. Mm. All right. I'll put, it, I'll put it down. And she's like, I could make up some if you want. And Chloe's like, nah, that's fine. That's, you know what? Windmills are cool, right? Windmills. Yeah. Uh, and then uh, Lana leaves. And Chloe tells Clark that there are other girls. And like, you know, Clark, you should, you should either make a move or move on. And Clark's like, you know, ever since Whitney's dad been in the hospital, it's been a... Open. A no-fly zone. Uh, talking about no fly also no fly zip think about it right a no fly uh, no, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> and then uh so anyway so we get back to the ken's house and jonathan is just all over martha all right you would have thought he had left smallville and went to everyone <laughs> again god matt <laughs> And he's like, come on, Martha, baby, don't do me no wrong. <laughs> it's like, what the hell is wrong with you? Keep it in your pants, I've gotta buddy. Go. Unlike you, I've got to go get some work done. This is a no-fly zone, Jonathan Kent. That means uh, that down there is a no-fly zip, zip. No, not yet. <laughs> <laughs> so, We're never going to show We're never going to We're just never going to <laughs> So, uh, John's like, all right, John, Marley, get the hell out of here, all right? And so the phone starts ringing. And, ring, 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 ring. Jonathan, and, well, Hello? he lets the answer machine oh, go. Oh, yeah, yeah. And it's Mr. Belvedere from the bank. And he's like, why, yes, this is Mr. Belvedere from the Smallville Savings and Loan. And I'm sorry, but we are going to have to decline. Mr. Belvedere, 
<laughs> you piece of shit. <laughs> I'm going to walk down there to that bank and so you could tell me that you're canceling my, that loan to my face. If you were dying in a fire, I would piss on your mouth, you piece of shit. You bastard. And then he breaks his phone. All right. And then Jonathan peels out of there. <laughs> like dude, just a good listen, old boy. Listen, I know we have fun here, okay? But I'm not exaggerating. Jonathan Kent is driving down this yes. road. Yes. Throwing his door open, yelling at people, bumping them off. Get out he's of the road. Hit pedestrians every time he gets. He's just he's got his driving, thermos out, trying to smack him in the back of the head. Driving on the wrong side of the road, driving and in the middle of the road. Clark sees it. He's like, Dad. And so <laughs> Dad, is that you, John Dad? And, that's dad. That's daddy. That's daddy. <laughs> daddy. <laughs> so, Jonathan, Jonathan parks. this thing into, into first and just and trips the e-brake, right? And, and gets pulls out, out a shotgun. This fucker has a shotgun. Ready to kill the, the Mr. Belvedere <laughs> and the Smallville Savings Loan, okay? And he gets out and Clark's like, Dad, Dad, what are you doing, Dad? And he's like, get the hell off of me, Clark. This is a no-fly zone. <laughs> Clark's like, Dad, no, you can't. What are you doing, Dad? You can't Dad, do you're that. not acting like Dad, yourself. Dad, 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 you gotta stop. Daddy. <laughs> so Clark says, please, here, here, drink, drink my milk. <laughs> here, drink, drink some milk. Look, I don't want your goddamn milk. Get the hell off me, Junior. Get off me. Uh, uh, it's for school. No, you know what? <laughs> <laughs> and he shoots Clark. He shoots him. And Clark's like, holy hell. <laughs> what the hell? What did you shoot me for? And John's like, ah, shit. I'm going to take a nap. And he passes out. Okay. Commercial break. So we come back from the car shop. <laughs> We're at the hospital, and Jonathan Kent he's in he's in a bad shape. All right, he's in, in a in the a, bad shape. He's in like a like an oblong rectangle. <laughs> Maggie, don't be so obtuse. <laughs> and so the doctor's like, yeah. Uh, he's, his symptoms. I would have said he, this is the first guy we've seen like this. But yeah. just yesterday, we had a flower thief come in, and he <laughs> let me tell you, he just slipped into a coma. Is this a HEPA violation? I don't know, but I'm telling you anyway. And you know what? We had to take John <laughs> Ken's pants off. So <laughs> listen, I don't want to tell you what we saw, no, but no, 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 okay, no, no yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and uh and so the doctor tells him about the flower thief slipping into a coma so then chloe and lon are like ah shit let's, let's go. go investigate yes so they go to the, cr- <laughs> the crash site and lon's like what are we looking for what are we looking for chloe? chloe's like i don't effing know and she's just taking pictures yeah. snip a snap a snip a snap a With snip a snap a snip a snap all right and uh, and Lana's like, oh, I think I found That's something. something. It's a hula girl. Oh, never right? mind. But then, oh, oh, here comes a flower. And it sneezes <sighs> right in Lana's face. <sighs> and then Lana sneezes. <sighs> and then Chloe walks over. <laughs> Howdy, partner. <laughs> Seems to be shaking, little darling. Oh, I thought I found something, but never mind. Oh, uh, f- yeah, okay. So then <laughs> we go to uh, Dr. Hamilton's lab. <laughs> and Lex, Lex uh, he's in there. Man, is he mad? He is madder than tarnations, all right? Although everything is so Western in this one. It's like, I don't know why that's the theme of that's this That's so weird. I know. I don't know. It just happens, man. Uh, but Lex is mad, and he's like, you know what, Dr. Hamilton... I'm going to take this flower and I'm going to send it to my boys in Metropolis and they're going to come up with a you cure. You can't take any of my flowers. It's my Don't research. tell me what the hell I can and can't do. Don't you talk to me like that, devil woman. <laughs> Hamilton's like, okay. And so he does it. So then the next day, we go to Smallville High. All right, ladies and gentlemen, let me tell you, this is where things get really really raunchy okay <laughs> everybody get ready to unbuckle your pants 
<laughs> oh my god, man. <laughs> comes walking in guess what everybody i'm bad she's got i got a black tank top and a black and pants it. and a black hair and a <laughs> all i did to change my image was to bring my hair closer to my eyes and wear a dark tank top with a black mini skirt and black boots and twins <laughs> and i'm gonna have a bad attitude about everything i don't want to be the little girl talking about her dead parents anymore <laughs> that's what she said oh, no. so that's she, what she says to her. Uh, so she's walking through the hall <laughs> and oh uh, oh up leaning up from the water fountain old Whitney, the Whitney wet blanket that he is. Oh, Lana, is that you? What'd you do, Lana? <laughs> What's everybody so lame? <laughs> so, they're in high school. So Whitney's like, damn, Lana. You like what you see? Well, Lana, <laughs> you know, I thought we were in Smallville, but you're about to take me to everyone. <laughs> What's that? <laughs> He's like, O C. <laughs> that was bad. That wasn't even funny. <laughs> so she's like, Listen, you've been so lame ever since your dad went to the hospital. Well, why don't we go somewhere? And he's like, Well, I, well, I can't really ditch class. You're so my, lame. My dad's it's just excuse after excuse. Uh, my dad. My but- daddy. <laughs> in the hospital Lana. your daddy yeah oh you poor baby this, well i hate to tell you this this is the end of our relationship bye bye <laughs> no fly zone this and dismissed uh usher is actually over the PA system talking about this it's like man you can't believe that she did that sorry brother we'll see who ends up being the homecoming <laughs> And so then Whitney and Freddie oh, sure. Jr. They start they start a bet that Whitney can find just any girl and turn her into the homecoming queen. But and he's got like nine weeks, right? And who does he pick? Lainey Boggs. And it's like Biggs. I don't know. And then it's up, oh, but she's painter. And he's like, really her? And then it turns out they actually fell in love. And then they kiss, but she didn't win. And then they got to dance to Fat Boy Slim. And then uh, her dad works on toilets. And there's a little boy, and they play Jeopardy. And uh, Matthew Lillard is in there somewhere. And it turned out that the whole time, she was all that. <laughs> Come kiss me. Anyway, <laughs> man, Maggie, let me tell you, I've had six pence and I'm none the richer. All right, so we go up to the school newspaper office, and who do we see sitting there? Old Clarky boy, <laughs> and he's sitting there writing over and over again. S for school, <laughs> S for school, and then and I was Lana's- like. Hi, you big boy. Hey, you stud. <laughs> what you doing? He's <laughs> like, hey, Lana, is this is this a new uh, look? You like it? <laughs> You're acting strange, Clark. So, I'm just worried about my daddy. <laughs> oh, another one with daddy yeah, problems. Should, you know what? We we could take uh, take take uh, your mind <laughs> off things. Uh, tell you what, you, why don't you come with me? Why don't you come with me? And so they go, and then they walk into the pool. They're in the pool, and uh, hang on, hang on, hang on. And so uh, Lana's like, you know, Clark, sometimes you just gotta go for what you want. What do you really do you want? want? Do you want me? And then she's like, I really want to get in this pool. And then she starts taking her clothes off. But we're not supposed to get in the pool, Lana. <laughs> and this is, listen, this is the day that Smallville became a CW TV show. Okay, this is, listen. 
this is what happened, all right, everybody? This, listen, <laughs> it went from a no-fly zone to a fly zone, if you know what I'm saying. So then, while, well, hang on, we're I'm almost there. On. We're almost I'm there. I'm all done. I'm all done. So- <laughs> <laughs> oh, <look>. <laughs> <laughs> Please breathe. Breathe. I was going to say, hold on to your cocks. <laughs> this is not yet. It's gonna be. It's, this is gonna be really funny in like just a couple. Of <laughs> I don't think it's already funny for you. It's so. So then, Lana, she's in her underwear, and it's <laughs> it's red. And Clark's like, "Oh man, if her underwear is red, my face is getting red because there's blood pumping." And so she gets out of the pool, and she's like, "You know, you want me, Clark." And let's just say that Clark did. And you could tell because. <laughs> Wait, we're trying. I thought we wasn't. I just said it. Let's just say it right there. <laughs> Was that worth it, everybody? Was that <laughs> worth it? <laughs> Maybe not. I don't know. And so then Lana kisses Clark. All right. And it's sweet. But not really. Because, <laughs> like, it's also super hot and heavy. Blah. And then Clark trips and falls in the pool. <laughs> and Lana sees Quan coming. And she's like, she gets the hell Get out, out of there. there. And then Quan's like, Mr. Kent. <laughs> so then uh, Clark is, is drying off. In more <laughs> places than wood, all right? Oh my God, man. <laughs> what? I'm just saying, he's drying off his head. And he's, he's talking to Chloe. And Chloe's like, I don't understand. I was at the site, too. And, and uh, you know, Lana was there. And oh, I'm not affected. affected. And then she says, oh, wait, look at this photo. I see Dr. Hamilton in my photo. I better go talk to him. So Chloe goes and talks to Dr. Hamilton at the lab, and he denies everything. Just full stop. He denies it all. Mm-hmm. So then we go to the town, and Lana walks in and says, uh, all right. Uh, Every, uh, uh, everybody get out of here. Uh, th- we're closed this afternoon. <laughs> so she says. Yeah, because that one girl came up to her and complained about everything, and she says, well, why is this my problem? And that girl's like, well, you are the assistant manager while Nell's out of town. So, yeah, you're supposed to help find help. And then Lana the says, suck it. <laughs> and closes the store. But who's in set in there? Lexi boy. And he says, Lana, uh, this isn't a good way to run a business. And she says, yeah, I bet you know all about running a business. <laughs> Wouldn't you, Lex? You old ball-headed piece of shit. You come here, you son of a bitch. <laughs> she punches him right in the, right the jaw. And he's like, oh, man, it feels good to be hit by a woman. She says, yeah. You, <laughs> he said she steals his keys and takes off. And she's driving away, and Clark sees the car. Uh, also, and- <laughs> another symptom of this stupid flower is that it makes everybody into maniac drivers. And Clark sees her leave, and he, he goes... Daddy? <laughs> Daddy? <laughs> so he, he runs Dad? up there. And also, at some point, Lana came on the legs. That was a whole yeah. piece of it, too. She, like, lips, licks. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. This is the last time we've been back to back to back. This is awful. And so Lana is, like, climbing the windmill, right? And she passes out, but Lana, Clark, Clark you catches doing? her. Right? No. <laughs> she's falling. She's like, oh, "Somebody save!" <laughs> and then we go to commercial break. <laughs> Why is my commercial breaks making you this laugh so much? This time I invented a commercial. <laughs> It's about about hey, hey. <laughs> oh my god 
<laughs> All right, so we're at the hospital, and Lana comes just rolling in right on a stretcher. She's passed out, and Clark's with her. And then Martha's uh, talking to Clark, and she's like, Clark, Jonathan slipped into a coma. That's not the only place he slipped into that day, but let me do the same <laughs> It's in the mic. It's in the mic. Oh, God. So, so, so we're at school, and Clark tells Pete, Clark tells Pete and Clark about the history of the flower. She she found out. Yeah. So I don't know. I don't know. Something. Oh, it's the book that Lex left there. Okay. Yeah, because Lex is at Dr. Hamilton's lab. Yeah. Before all and that. And he rented the book. Yeah. And the book had all this stuff about the flower. Mm-hmm. The Nicodemus mm-hmm. flower. Uh, mm-hmm. uh, so then Chloe's like, ah, shit. And then Clark's like, ah, shit. And so he goes to, uh, to find uh, Lex. And they say something about a Jurassic Park flower, right? Because they, they use the, the meteor rock to bring... The flower back from extinction, right? Yeah. So Clark goes and confronts Lex, but Lex denies everything, everything of course. Because he's a little... <laughs> wow. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh... Oh my god. <laughs> it's so long. It's so long. That's... Never mind. So we're at the <laughs> Dr. Hamilton's lab. And Chloe and Pete break in. And uh, Chloe's like, Pete, just don't do anything. And Pete says, what? Oh, no. <laughs> Breaks the glass. That is the flower in it, right? And then Chloe's like, Pete, what? Where where are you? And then Pete, goofiest Psycho. look on his face. <laughs> Turn to the camera. <laughs> hey there, Chloe. And then Pete pulls a gun and says, Chloe, give me your gun. Keys. I'm gonna go kill Lex once and for all, cause he sucks. And also, quit. I'm I'm right in front of you. Forget about Clark. Oh, did he say that? Yeah. Oh, I must have. I wasn't paying attention. Mm-hmm. Everybody forgets about Pete. And so <laughs> we're back at the hospital. Martha and Clark are talking about how Martha met Jonathan, and like he gave her a note from school, and she's like, "I want to marry that man. I want, I want him to." Take me from Metropolis to everywhere. <laughs> I'll be 360 spins into my bedroom if you know what I'm talking about. It's <laughs> It'll just be the horses screaming at night, boys. Let me tell you. <laughs> and Clark's like, Jesus, Mom, I don't want to hear any of this shit. <laughs> Jonathan in a coma is just chuckling to himself. <laughs> He's like, <laughs> oh man, those Duke boys are at it again. And so Chloe shows up and she tells Clark that Pete is going after legs. And Clark's like, ah, shit, Chloe. God. And so Clark runs <laughs> over to Legs' house. And Pete shows up. And he finds Lex with Dr. Hamilton. And Pete's like, I knew it. And Dr. Hamilton's like, oh, no. And then he accidentally throws a book in a fire or something. And the book had the no, antidote well, it's or something. When, it's when Pete shoots him. It yeah. knocks the book into yeah, the fire. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And yeah, Lex yeah. is like, yeah, yeah. hey, buddy, let me grab this book out of the fire. That way we can find the cure for everybody. Pete's like, don't you damn move. And then uh, Hamilton goes out like in the secret passageway. Uh, like it's the goddamn Legends of the Hidden Temple or something. And this dude just puts together the Silver Monkey Shrine, all right? Like, he, I don't know. He's, just, he's able to leave. Maybe wow. it's, I don't know, all right? He just he gets out of there, right? He's got all three <laughs> pendants pieces, and he's able to get that trip to space camp. All right? Dude's just out of here. And then Clark walks in, and he's like, Pete, put the gun down, Pete. Pete, I love you, Pete. Pee 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 Please, Pee Pee. Please don't shoot legs. Oh, 
Oh, I need likes. Let me see. Pee pee, please. Okay. <laughs> My finger's on the button, man. I'm going to throw him. <laughs> like all right i trust you <laughs> i trust you here let's call that one to get pee-pee's hospital <laughs> so, so then we're at the hospital <laughs> and jocelyn can't wakes up he wakes up and uh it turns out the cure from metropolis came from a book an old book was it the book that almost fell into the fire yeah and, uh, and then Lana and Pete wake up, and they're also recovering. So Chloe goes to Dr. Hamilton's lab to check and see how and everything turned g- out. And it's gone. Everything's gone, like a candle in the wind. And uh, <laughs> and then Lex, turns out Hamilton walks in, and Lex is standing there, and they're talking, and he's like, you know what, I, I like you. But you need a little more supervision. I just bought this lab, Cadmus Labs, and I'm going to need to keep a closer eye on you so you can head up Cadmus Labs. Uh, uh, uh. And then uh, Clark uh, has his hands in front of Lana's eyes, takes them off. They're on top of the windmill. How did... <laughs> how, did how did they get up there? Did she... <laughs> Did she climb with her eyes closed? I'm Did thinking, she know they were climbing? I'm thinking Clark climbed up Knocked there. Knocked her out. <laughs> Clark climbed up there first, and then she got up there, and he told her uh, to trust him, you know. So she knew eyes. they were at the windmill. Yeah. Okay. Because there's no way you could hide climbing up a ladder with your eyes <laughs> That's closed. That's what I'm saying, but for some reason she did. For some reason she did. And then she, <laughs> they're looking, right? And they see all of Metropolis. And U2's yeah. playing. And Clark is like, see, Lana, sometimes dreams can't come true. And it's playing U2. It's a beautiful day. And then Clark says, oh, wow, I think I can see Pee-Pee's house. Really? Oh, my God. Really? <laughs> <laughs> it's a beautiful day. It's a beautiful day. <laughs> All right. <laughs> the end. The moral of the story the is end. stay away from flowers. <laughs> All right. Oh. <laughs> so, sorry. All right. Now. <laughs> Did you bring it? Why? Why did you bring it back? All right, let's get into our segments. You ready to get into some segments? Yeah, I'm ready. All right. I'm ready. It's time for the countdown to Billy. We are 76 weeks away from Billy. <laughs> this has been the countdown to Billy. All right. <laughs> 
Love you, Billy. <laughs> the Freak of the Week this week. Let's talk about the Freak of the Week. Major Funky. All right, PP. <laughs> so, <laughs> the Freak of the Week this week is the Nicodemus Flower. All right, that's the Freak of the Week. That's the Freak of the Week. Where are current rankings? Number one. <laughs> <laughs> number one. At number one, we got Superboy. Number two, Jitters. Number three, Cassandra and Harry Lloyd. Number four, Coach. Number five, Phelan 360. Number six, The Prestige. Number seven, Bob and Carl. <laughs> number eight, Flana. Number nine, Jody Melville. Number ten, TTAFFS. <laughs> Rose cream. <laughs> number 12, heat second corn dog. Uh, number 13, freakazoid. And number 14, bug boy. Maggie, where would you, where would you put the Nicodemus flower? <laughs> number one. <laughs> it, it had a really good uh, character arc. <laughs> You know what? No. no. <laughs> I was about to do it. I I honestly I, can we put it can we put it number three? Yes, please. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Alright, your new number three is Nicodemus. <laughs> Nicodemus, Nicodemus. Uh, wow. Nicodemus, Nicodemus. I'm not even gonna. I'm not even gonna put flower. I'm just gonna leave it at Nicodemus and just see if we remember. <laughs> All right, your new ranking: number one, Superboy. Number two, Jitters. Number three, Nicodemus. Number four, Cassandra and Harry Lloyd. Number five, Coach. Number six, Phelan three sixty. Number seven, The Prestige. Number eight, Bob and Call. Number nine, Flana. Number two, Jody Melville. <laughs> <laughs> number 12 frozen cream number 13 heat sucking horn dog number 14 freaking swords number 15 bug boy all right maggie no no plots no tides did they break the rule this week no <laughs> i mean no flight no tights i mean we did see clark's pants Got a little bit tighter, if you know what I'm saying. <laughs> Beep me! Beep me! Beep me! Alright. Let's talk about some DC references. Part of a bigger world, you just don't know it yet. You become part of a bigger universe. You just don't know it. Alright. Dukes of Hazard theme plays on top of this driving his truck. Uh, there's a Daily Planet truck. Mm -hmm. Clark's line: "With all my abilities, there no, there's nothing I can do." Over a comatose Jonathan Kent is a paraphrase of the line: "With all my powers, I couldn't save him." A teenage Clark says in the Superman the movie when his father dies. Spoiler alert for a movie from 1978. Wow. Um, Lana teasing Clark about whether he is made of steel is a reference to, of course, Superman's nickname, the Man of Steel. She says, "Are you made of steel?" Right? In episode one, she says, "Are you Man or Superman? Man or Muppet?" Right? You remember that? Remember yeah, that? that was a joke that we did. I'm not I saying know. what I was saying. We I know saying what you we, meant. We did that joke. All right. Lastly, let's get into the town mix. Remy Zero! Hey, I like these guys. Yeah. Remy Zero! <laughs> Saturday Night's All Right by Hal Lovejoy. The theme from the Dirk Sponsor. Waylon. Waylon Jennings. Uh, get this. Sadie Hawkins Dance by Reliant K was playing at some point. I will make you cry by Nelly Furtada. 
Furtado. <laughs> <laughs> I have seen and Destiny by Zero Seven. Supernatural by Divine Right. Love Sweet Love by Josh Clayton Felt. Big Day by Puricane. And Beautiful Day by U2. It's a beautiful day. Uh, I always think of, um, whenever I hear that song, I think of, uh, I think it was Triple H. When uh, he ripped his, his like ACL or whatever. Mm. And then he, he came back. I think it was that. That might have been The Rock. Or maybe it was Undertaker. I don't know. Anyway. Next time on Smallville, episode 16, entitled Stray. Yeah. Oh, Not the wow. kitty cat game. It's a different one. Maggie, what do you think? Based off the title, and what do you think Stray is about? A cat. That's it. I mean, come on, tell me, tell me uh, a plot yeah, synopsis. Um, come on. A cat that 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 has meteor rock in its plume. <laughs> it's Super Kitty. <laughs> it's no <laughs> PV. Come here, PV. Stray, or it's somebody that's homeless and they have. Wow, powers. that was a, a 180 turn there, Maggie. <laughs> Jesus Christ! <laughs> oh my God. Or it's another flower. <laughs> All right, that's it, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, thanks for watching. Uh, wow, this was, this was an episode, and it like it went really off the rails. Uh, but hey, you know, if you liked it, uh, be sure to hit the thumbs up. Uh, you can uh, follow us on all the things, subscribe to us. Uh, you can listen to us on podcast services, and if you're doing one or the other, do it on the other one. Uh, you know, turn us on YouTube and do your taxes or something. I don't know. My brain is just completely gone. Um, we will be back next week. But uh, for those on Patreon.com slash Hopefully Awesome, we're getting ready to get into our post show where we're going to do the Ultimate DC Movies Quiz. So stick around for that. But that's going to wrap it up for us. Thanks for watching. And as always... Have a hopefully awesome day. <laughs> Bye. 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 <laughs>